Wyndham. Welcome back to our podcast. This is the Wyndham Voyager and my name is Natalie Jendrasco and I'm the host and communications director for the Wyndham School District. This podcast invites the public in to hear directly from our leading experts in different areas in public education. I also wanted to mention that this podcast was created in collaboration with our digital media teacher. She will be in charge of recording and editing this podcast. Thank you so much for your help. So welcome back everyone. Today we are continuing that conversation with our new curriculum directors. Today we have Mrs. Danboys. Thank you so much for joining us. So just as a quick reminder, our curriculum directors here are use their years of experience to ensure that the curriculum is appropriate for staff and students while they also are staying up to date with the latest developments in education. So with that, let's hear about the curriculum area of focus that you are here with the Wyndham School District. Absolutely, so um, I've been hired to work with all of our math teachers, grades five through 12, and our business technology teachers here at the high school. Okay. Um, so I oversee, yep, anything from grade five through 12. Okay, now when you're talking about business, that encompasses the marketing. I know we yes. have the DECA, is yes. that what it's called? So we have, yep, so here at the high school, we have two business teachers. Um, they oversee a variety of really awesome elective classes that we offer. Uh, they also are both advisors for the FBLA and the DECA. Um, part of that program, we also have a business certificate, which mm -hmm. students can look into, and they have to take certain requirements within the business scope of classes we offer, and also be a part of one or both of the um, after school programs that we deal with DECA or FBLA. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we work closely with those teachers, um, giving students some a variety of opportunities so that they might utilize different skills and then maybe see if they're interested in business or marketing or right, accounting right. Um, for their future. So is that in addition to their high school diploma, they'd get like another yes, certificate? Okay. they would, which I think is a really nice boost that we offer here at Wyndham High yeah. School. Um, definitely shows colleges and universities how dedicated our students are in business if that's to, kind of right, something the, they want to do. Right, so that specific topic, right? Absolutely. Especially if they're going to a school that is ranked high in those areas. Absolutely. That's great, that's awesome that we offer that. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. Absolutely, so this is my 18th year in education. Um, previously, I have been a math teacher, both middle school and high school. What was your favorite? <laughs> Everybody always asks me that. <laughs> uh, I have to admit, I, there's good and bad, positive yeah. and negative of both. Um, I think middle school is this kind of sassy kind of, yeah. they are. You gotta love the sass oh, in yeah, middle school. Yeah. I love it, I'm very sarcastic, so we get along. <laughs> um, I was there 10 years previously in a middle school, uh, so that's my most recent experience. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, I've been in high schools, um, and I think you get such a different connection with students mm. when you're at kind of that junior, senior level. They're right. just at a different place in their life. Right. Um, and I think sometimes everything feels a little bit bigger, just right? Because you're you're kind of you're finishing that career in education at home, and you're moving on to this big new thing, right? Um, so being a part of that is just really awesome. Also, yeah, I don't I don't think I could choose. Yeah, I really don't think I could because I love them both. I get that. I feel like they're probably similar but totally different in the same. Absolutely, yeah. That's absolutely. Awesome, though. So what made you come to Wyndham? Wyndham has been amazing to me. Uh, I interviewed, I have, I got my master's about five years ago. Okay. Um, really looking to, you know, extend myself professionally. Um, I love being in the classroom. I actually miss the kids right now a lot, mm -hmm. I have to admit it. But one of the pieces that I felt like I was really missing was really being that coaching piece. Helping yeah. educators become the best they possibly can. Right. Because ultimately that means that we're then helping our students. Mm -hmm. um, as a teacher, I did a little bit of that with peer mentoring and just right. the mentoring programs yep. that I've been involved in. Uh, but I think Wyndham has really allowed me to just dive into that coaching piece. Right. This position as a curriculum director, seeing that continuum from our center school to the middle school to the high school has just been awesome. Right. Um, so Wyndham took a little risk on me. I, this is my first time being an administrator, but I really appreciate it. Everyone has been so amazing and so welcoming and so supportive. Um, I'm just very blessed. Yeah, I think we're very fortunate in Wyndham to have curriculum directors that have specific concentration areas that they're passionate about, right? Because Absolutely. I think to your point, 
one of the things from my lens, from a communications perspective, is trying to make sure that the public and the students and the staff see that continuum, right? It's not just, yes, there's all this great stuff happening in the schools, there's that school culture, that dynamic, but understanding that that is going to translate into the next school and into Absolutely. the next school and then after school, right? So when we talk about our NEASC accreditation, like that's a huge focus for Absolutely. us is making sure that they understand that we are really focused on the whole district, not school based. Yes, we are a, a we are a district of schools, not exactly. a, the school district. Exactly. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So what do you hope to bring to Wyndham? I, I'm very actually very passionate about mathematics, mm -hmm. good teaching, teaching for the students that we have. Um, and I think one of the things is having those vertical conversations and trying to be that consistent piece right. from grades five through 12. Um, and ultimately, I really just want to get to know people. Yeah. I'm very, very excited about plugging into this really great district. All of the community connections, all of the teacher connections and student connections that I can make I just want to see how everything works together and how we can make it better together. Right. I think that's really my focus this year. Um, and, and seeing what kinds of opportunities we can offer, not only our teachers, but also our students, mm -hmm. um, and see what we can do together. I really want to work on our coaching pieces and, you know, just making those connections and being that continuum. Now tell me a little bit about our RTI program as it interwoven with mathematics and Absolutely. how that kind of moves again through that system of the schools. One of the great pieces we have here in Wyndham is our RTI model. Um, and it looks a little different in each building, but I think that works really great because we play to our strengths in every school. Okay. Center School, we have some really great RTI interventionists and tutors, and they do a fabulous job, not only in just math, but a lot of our subjects right. in the ELA, mm -hmm. pull out pieces, pull it, pushing in with supports, that's continued at our middle school with our interventionists and our tutors, pull out groups and pushing in. So we tried to have that exact same model. So this is new for us here at the high school. We do have the MTSS program and a part of that is our new position, our math tutor. We're very, very excited. Um, Miss Mary Davis is our math tutor. Okay. She was previously with the district as a para. Mm -hmm. So she has all kinds of great insider information yeah. on our students, but also our system at the high school. So I think having that connection already is really great. Mm -hmm. And then utilizing her in a slightly different way. So she's been pushing into classrooms. Um, she's been there as an additional support. But now, well, mainly her focus is working on students that have um, need extra time for exams. Right. Um, have been absent. Um, could be a situation where maybe they just want a little bit of extra prep before a test or a quiz. Right. We actually have students contacting her directly. Which is They're awesome. They're doing a fabulous job of advocating for themselves. Right. Connecting directly with Miss Davis and then scheduling time with her. That's so great to hear. It has been amazing. Um, her, she is a busy, busy lady. I bet. It. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but I think we're really we're really showing that we see a need right. and that we as a district are really trying to fill that need. Right. And it's been great that the school board made this possible for us this year. Absolutely. So we're very excited about how well the program is going. Um, and again, it does. It looks slightly different than necessarily the center and middle school, but I think due to all of the scheduling and the size of the high school, right. I think this was a really great way for us to kind of utilize that model. And teachers can ask her to come in too, right? To Absolutely. The classroom. Whenever a teacher has something go on, maybe a project, maybe it's going to be right before midterm or final exam prep, mm -hmm. great time to ask Miss um, Davis to come in. Um, so we do have teachers also scheduling block time for Miss Davis to come in and just be some extra eyes to right. help out. Another support piece that we're utilizing in our kind of MTSS um, RTI model. Awesome. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, we're very excited. So outside of the craziness of the school year, what are some of hobby or activities that you like to do? Yep. Well, I think the whole leadership team kind of figured out I, I do like to play poker. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've won the tournament, so I'm not a card shark. I swear. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, but uh, actually, we love to, my husband and I uh, have been married for soon to be five years. Very excited. Yeah. Um, we love to uh, watch movies. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I love to read. Um, and I'm actually in a band, which is really kind of cool. So I sing in a band, and I've been in the band for 
Mm. Oh, geez, like 20 years. Wow. Yeah, so it's been a really great activity to You're going to need to submit yourself to the <laughs> center school. Every year they do like a staff. Oh, um, really? That's yeah, really cool. talent show. I, I made the mistake of saying that to um, the middle school. Yeah, maybe not tell a lot of people. I know. I can see how that. <laughs> I, somehow I think I might be in the next uh, spring concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, geez. But that's I love all good. that, though. I it's hope fun. that does happen. That would be awesome. It would be really great. I love it. I miss singing in a big choir. Right. I love that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, and we're so excited to see what you bring here to Wyndham. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. We hope you enjoyed today's topic. We want your feedback. If you have any questions or are interested in different topics we discuss here on the Wyndham Voyager podcast, please email me at podcast at WyndhamSD.org. For the Wyndham Voyager, my name is Natalie Dundrasco, and we will see you next time. Thanks again for taking this voyage with me.